Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Finn, or yet another gaming file, and I am currently here teaching some different things on the mission editor for DCS. Um, so the first things that we did was to place down some uh, some aircraft, some ground vehicles, to teach them to walk around and do their own thing, off-road and on-road, and um, to, to have it so that you can start as a... Uh, as a a person flying the aircraft or to have it start as AI. Um, we've also set up uh, aerial bombing which is obviously very useful if you want to set up tasks like that and aerial refueling tasks so um, that gives you a whole bunch of different information to start off with building some basic missions there. Um, obviously you can um, you can you should be able to build a basic mission now for bombing a target or doing this obviously your own capability will you know change the demands of the mission etc uh, based on what you want to do if you want to train then you can build your own mission now it's great fantastic so I hope that's been very useful so far but we're going to continue that now the next thing we're going to do is start looking at more sophisticated stuff now what you might want to do is face off against a uh, an air defense network now um, obviously the way you want to have that is have um, air, you know a SAM site or surface to air missile vehicles set up to shoot you down um, so we'll start by just plonking them out in this field so we can easily identify them so plonk down a ground vehicle we're gonna come under category here because the category really changes what kind of thing we've got we're gonna go for air defense now as standard I've got a whole bunch of uh, different vehicles I think it's set to the Bofors there which is a World War two asset but um, that's not exactly what we're going to be using instead we're going to um, go under the subcategories and you've got uh, Sam etc so um, we're gonna just click set it to all for now but you've got all of these different options so optical uh, radar search and track etc so we're just going to come down here um, we're going to set it to the ruskies because uh, we, I'm pretty pretty decent at placing down Russian emplacements now and we're going to go with the SA2s because they're nice and simple there's not that much to get wrong so the guideline which is the launcher here um, that's the uh, it's a single telegraph pole sized surface to air missile mounted onto this launcher um, so we've got one set up there and then we're going to hit the plus button next to unit that will add another unit in so it will add it will change the first unit to the second unit in the group and then the new unit is the one that's moving this around so you, um, now we can move this other one around freely so what we'll do is we'll just set up like a kind of like fairly decently like kind of covered uh, surface to air missile site like this you know we'll add a few more launchers in like this so now these launchers won't engage on their own they're going to need something to give them targeting information so we've got six launchers set up like this facing out in different directions they can all engage if they need to but what we're going to do well, let's get an extra launcher and bring, drag it into the middle and this one's not going to be a launcher so this was set to the SA2 S75 guideline LN LN stands for launcher now above this we've got the fan song TR or tracking radar. Now this also does the job of search radar as well for the SA2s um, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Um, other sites like the S300s etc um, you will have a scanning radar and a tracking radar separately of each other so um, that is one thing. Now this this SAM site now is fairly self-sufficient it can locate engage and shoot down targets all of its own accord great fantastic but what we'd also want to add and what I'd recommend adding if we get another one in here um, in fact let's just drag that back and uh, go to the last one here and add an extra unit in what I'd recommend adding is go to unarmed and find ourselves um, like a Kamaz here we are so Kamaz is your truck now this will allow you to rearm your um, your launchers here anywhere within this radius now I've got them assigned to the group just because then you know that they're gonna service that group but now I've got three cameras launchers with uh, three cameras trucks even which will reload our launchers fantastic so what we'll do is let's get an aircraft in here uh, let's go for a US a 10 let's set them to give them 9,000 feet um, so They've got a minimum and maximum engagement distance for these air, for these uh, defences. So the 
maximum engagement distance is seen in the red here the minimum engagement distance is seen in the green here so no matter how much they traverse within this green area they will not be able to launch and uh, get a successful kill so we've set the a10 to fly straight across now what we'll have to do as well just for the sake of this is we're just going to go to um, set option we're going to have no reaction and we're just going to make sure that it's roe is uh, weapon hold as well so this means that this a10 is not going to shit itself if if uh, if stuff goes wrong we're just going to hit fly mission hit save yes and now we will see hopefully that our uh, our sa2s will uh, if we hit f7 here to come over and uh, let's have a look if we kind of just speed up time a little bit we should see that at some point the uh, the radar begins doing its job and the uh, the launchers kind of rotate around and start tracking the uh, the A10 so we'll just give it a minute here there we go and it's fired so somewhere off in the distance Now, this uh, this A10 has gone a bit defensive behind these hills there, so that's uh, to be expected. But we got them to fire. That's the key part. So this SAM site is now pretty much out of its missiles. So we'll just keep skipping time here. I'm going to set it really, really fast, and you'll see that hopefully over the course of probably about half an hour to 45 minutes these launchers will reload there we are and that's a result of the trucks being there to provide them with the uh, with the, the missiles to uh, to reload it so there you go you've got a fully self-sufficient SAM site you've got launchers you've got a radar you've got some vehicles to supply them and then uh, we added in a target um, don't worry too much about the target I'll cover the options that we use there um, later on but that there is your basic setup for a surface to air missile site in the DCS mission editor. So uh, I hope that's been useful to you. Uh, I hope you have a lovely day. Uh, if you'd like to, you can like and subscribe. I'm not going to force you to. Um, and I hope that you have a wonderful evening, afternoon, morning, breakfast, lunch and dinner, wherever you are. So thank you very much for your time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.